Now, for whatever reason, you do not want to or cannot use an upright vacuum cleaner that is corded, or you just want to be faster, more efficient, and up to, um, you know, uh, and do a better job at what you do. This is the Makita battery operated commercial upright vacuum cleaner, and this is Amar from Makita Canada, who's going to tell us all about this. Hey guys, um, I'm glad uh, you, you, you really hit on commercial because that's what we are. We're yes. commercial grade. Um, like let's say, and let's picture you're trying to clean a space that you can't get a plug. So let's say you're in, a, you're doing a commercial contract clean where it's a really wide atrium, right? Or if it's you know uh, in and around offices where you're always tripping over a cord. Or running over it with the machine. Do you know how many cords we have to repair per Absolutely. month for when it comes to commercial applications? I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. So we cut this cord, right? right? It's really just tethering you to slowing you down. Right. So now we're going to clean in a much more efficient and effective way. You're going to actually pick up almost 30% more efficiency, not having to wrap and unwrap a cord. Now this upright will clean all floors. You can use it on low pile commercial carpet, right? You can use it on mid to high pile because there's a height adjuster right on the upright. So you'll yep. be able to move the bristle higher or lower depending on the pile of carpet you're cleaning. You can use this on hard surfaces. So your hardwoods, your ceramics, your linoleums, you can clean everything. Now this is a HEPA rated commercial upright. Now HEPA filtration is extremely important even in commercial spaces. Why is that? We, a lot of vacuums and actually specifically a lot of cordless uprights that are currently in the market aren't HEPA rated. Right. So they're pretty much picking up the dust from the carpet, but they're spewing out all of the allergens. Uh -huh. So HEPA filtration will trap 99.97% all microns that are 0.3 in size. Right. So you think of like dander, allergens. Those are all being spewed out of most uprights. Not with this one. Not with this one. Now, the, a lot of people are like, oh, but HEPA filters are super expensive. Are they? Not with a Makita. All right. We actually have. A HEPA filter that's washable. This looks like a completely sealed HEPA filter. This is proper. It, it actually is. All right. Um, and then we actually give you a very sturdy cloth synthetic bag. That is uh, that is a high quality for a commercial vacuum specifically. Exactly. Most where they well, everybody uses these paper bags that tear, tear and are just terrible. Yeah. This is proper. And then we take it up another step because when you remove the dust bag, there's actually a pull tab that you can pull to close off the bag. So nothing comes back into your face when you're exactly. getting rid of the dust. dust and dirt. It minimizes the dust and dirt interaction with the user. So if we're talking about health and safety, right. it's a much more efficient and healthier way to clean. Now this you said is washable. Absolutely. Now how often would I be able to use, like how often do I wash it? When do I need to change it? That's one of the questions that everybody asks about any filter. But. Absolutely. Um, I would highly suggest a cold water rinse under the tap right. in an overnight dry. Yep. And you want to maintain the filter probably anywhere anywhere from three to six months. Right. Okay. Especially if it's a commercial application yeah. you're using in large carpeted areas. And let's say you do maybe break a tab on the filter or yeah. You, you, you really want to, you know, have, have a fresher filter. Right. One of the beauties of Makita is that we actually have full part support. So through our dealer vacuum warehouse and commercial vacuums, yep. you are able to go back to the place that you bought it and buy all your bags, your filters. Yep. We carry all of it. We carry all of it. All, all, the, all, all the stuff that you need to keep in order to maintain the machine. Maintenance, that's everything that you need in order to make sure the machine is maintained properly. All dealers, including us, we carry it. Yeah, and I'm glad you brought up maintenance because we're one of the very few vacuums that are very low maintenance. A lot of times when you're in a commercial job site or even if you're using, if you decided to go commercial grade for at home use, a lot of the issues that you have are broken belts. How many times do you That's vacuum? That's right. Belts are a big thing when it comes to any kind of a vacuum with a rotating brush. brush. 
Well, we use a direct drive system. Hmm. Tell me more. So I'm glad it is totally tool free. So picture you're on a job site. Let's say you pick up something that would normally clog or break a belt. Uh, paper clips. Paper clips could be, you know, who knows, maybe somebody wanted to sl slide into sandals at work. Yep. And then they just left a sock under their desk and boom, you hit it. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, now what you can do is instead of having to call in your vacuum sick, right, exactly. to work, you can tool free have easy access. What? And where's the belt? There is no belt. Wait, there is no belt. There is no belt. Direct this drive. is it. This is the brush roll. That's a brush roll. Twisted aluminum. The reason why we like to use aluminum in that is super light. It's so light. No, lighter, faster, stronger, right? No belt. No belt. Okay. It only will go in the right way. That's because we, you, we'll do a close up of this. Um, it has a tooth gearing. And the brush bar will only go in one Oh, that's way. right. There's so only you one just way find the tooth gearing and pop it right back in. No way. Uh, now, I, I did that totally eyes not even on. Perfect. And so then, that's, a, that's a big thing. You know how many... See, with commercial, especially with commercial applications, working the vacuum means time. Time means money. You can't have broken vacuums on the job on the site. On the job site. And then the other thing that we do is we put in little steel pegs to yeah. ensure that you don't suck in a cord. Because that's like a big thing. When you're cleaning right. in around cubicles, there are a lot of cords that are on, on the, under the Oh, yeah, desk. computers and yeah, USB chargers, charge cords, all right? That, yeah. So with, with this, you know, that's a great feature. Awesome. Now, let's say it somehow did pick up something. What it does is it'll actually sense the obstruction and shut the brush bar motor off. You know, that's a feature that's on some really high-end kind of machines. Well, I mean, I'm not saying this is not. This, this is, is definitely this is real high-end. High this is, because <laughs> so far what I'm looking at, just, just first of all, the way it feels and it kind of clicks into each other, everything locks in. It's high quality. This is really, really good quality. You got to kind of be there to see and feel and touch it. Um, not only that, any... Uh, any feature that you would expect with a high-end upright, including height adjustability, including the hose accessibility, including easy brush roll maintenance, it's all there. Yeah, and so I'm going to take you through a real quick run through of all of the features. So we talked about the brush bar that will actually stop when it senses a clog. Now what it will do is send you a trigger huh. right up on the, on the control. Well, there is a light there. Yeah. So it'll tell you that there's an obstruction in the brush bar. Right. It'll tell you when you need to change out the bag. Even that? Yep. It's variable speed, three levels right. of suction. Right. So we have a low noise mode. Right. So let's say you're in a hotel environment. Right. And you're doing housekeeping while maybe a, a guest has a do not disturb next to you. Right? In the room that you're going to maintain. Right. Well, what, what you can do is have this run on the low noise mode. Well, you know what, as you're saying it, I'm going to put your words to test. Because I'm going to put this on the low mode and we're going to keep talking. Okay, let's do it. All right. Hold on a second here. That's the high. There that is go. the low mode. That's the low mode right there. And I'm vacuuming. And, and even on the low and mode, people expect that it's not going to work really well. Right? Will it? it? It actually does. So this is uh, a refined coffee ground. Now Rod, I'm going to sprinkle some of this down for us. Okay. And okay. we can adjust, we can adjust so, the carpet height. Right yep. now this is on, this is low pile commercial carpeting it, anyways. It absolutely is. So Rod, I'll get you to, see now when you unlock it, what's unique is the brush bar will turn on. Can I just say, this feels really light. Very well balanced. It only weighs it's 20 pounds. It's not bothering the hands. It's 20 pounds for the whole machine. For the whole machine's batteries included. And the batteries sit down here on the bottom. That's I'm glad you brought that up. Now, why do we put the batteries right in on the bottom? Is because we want to keep all of the weight out of the user's hands. But also we want the weight of these batteries to be displaced and keep the brush bar focus on the ground. Okay, let me try this. So give it. I also have lights at the front, headlights, great feature. Yep. Actually is. And one pass. One pass. Boom. On its lowest, so on the low, on the low mode. What, what? I know. 
Impressive, right? One pass on the low mode, and that's that's dirt. That's that's dirt. That's uh, more dirt than should be on any type of a, an office area. Yeah. But you know what? That is impressive so far. Now, uh, some of the other features, please, are onboard battery indication levels. So you'll know exactly how much charge is in the battery. Oh wait, if I just press this just button, press that button, it shows both show battery that. levels. That's right. Amazing. And then you have full tools on board. Oh, so that is, your... people are going to love that feature. That's yeah. a very, very big feature with a lot of people. As a matter of fact, when it, when it comes to getting corners and, you know, hard to reach uh, places. Yeah. So on the low mode, you have more than enough suction to grab your dust and dirt. Yeah. And then the other nice feature is it has a rubber tip on the end of the wand. Now I can grab dust and dirt right off of a baseboard, not have to worry about it. Scratch. Bam. Right. You have your crevice tool and your dusting tool that are molded right into the body of the vacuum. You have the ability to, again, tool free, have access to the up hose, tool free. So if you ever did get a clog, you can service it on the site. Bam, how cool is that? That is awesome. So then far. you get your, see, high quality build, so even if you do that, that's wire reinforced hose. Okay, and this locks in? Yep, just like that. And that's it? That's it. Do I have to do anything else with it? Not really. No, it's just sitting there. Just, just, just like that. I mean, uh, and wait, you can well, tuck the this. hose. Oh, the oh, sorry. Yeah, you can tuck the hose in. And I'm missing the dusting brush, but there is a dusting brush there, there is and a, a crevice, crevice brush on crevice board. On board. What's this here? That's your carry handle. So oh. let's say you're going up a step. So 20 pounds. Wow. For some users, could be heavy, right? For for me, who's a little bit of, of a bigger guy, it's not not that big of a deal. But hey, now I can there, carry it up and down a stair because there's a molded handle in the front and one in the back. That is beautiful. Now it gets even smarter, guys. Please. Okay. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I'm let's, gonna buy say, let's say you're a commercial cleaner who's driving a Honda Civic. Yeah. Okay? Most commercial cleaners yeah. are going to be in a fuel efficient vehicle. Correct. Well, I can pop out the handle, tool free, and that can sit on the back seat in my car. It can. And this doesn't and then have to. I can oh, wait a minute. Let me see. Pop and it all right back in and push the latch in. And that's a lock. There you go. Japanese quality and engineering. Now, well, I mean, what am I missing? This, this. Oh, oh. Uh, it goes straight to 90 degrees. Wait a minute. So under beds. desks and beds, beds at the hotels and motels Absolutely. and things like that. Okay. It goes right flat. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about runtime. Yes, because that's one of the things that I would say. If only hesitation, my only hesitation would be, well. Yes, great, but how long am I using this on the job site before it runs out of battery? And then what are my options? So we can work infinitely without having to worry about dead batteries because our charge times are faster than the run times. So I'll be able to set a, charge a set of batteries before the run time runs out. So this guy can run 100 minutes. I can charge two 5 amp hour batteries in our rapid charger in only 45. So, so what you're telling me is up to 100 minutes. Now right. I'm, I'm assuming there's three different suction settings. Yep. And these are not just suction settings, they also determine how fast yeah, the, how brush aggressive the brush roll spins. So let's say on its uh, lowest at three, so on, you on, get 100 minutes. Yeah, and, and as you've seen, even on the low mode, it did fine. It does a great job. And that's one, one of the things that we have to focus on is we kind of have to wrap our, our head around. Just because this has three settings doesn't right. mean you have to use it on the high. No. It right. works really well, right. even on that low mo noise right. mode. Right. Now, if, if you're going to run into a, a spot where it's really, you know, saturated in dirt, yeah. let's say you're picking up safety salt in the front entry of a, of a, of a building, right. okay, well then I can dial it up. But for the rest of the maintenance and the rest just of the regular clean, everyday just stuff. regular 
three or the low mode or even the medium mode is more than sufficient. Right. We'll we'll just run this over a hard surface. Yeah, I was wondering how it would actually do on so hard surfaces as well. Again, this is on the low mode. Right. <laughs> it's bound. It's great. Bam. It's done. This also has edge cleaning and an edge broom. Yeah. So, it so will when get you're everything. going up against a baseboard, you're going to get a nice little yeah, or the quarter round of a house. Yeah. It'll give it a nice sweep while you're using it. <laughs> rubber wheels. Rubber, so non-marking. Non-marking rubber. Good. Um, so if we're gliding this over a hardwood or a ceramic, no issue at all. Um, right. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much um, I it. think we've covered it. And I think for people who may have what we call range anxiety, because you know with these new electric cars, it's a thing <laughs> now, range anxiety. We call this a well, runtime anxiety. Well, I, I, I like to say I have a supercharger Yep. right with you on the Which site. comes, because this machine is offered in two different Options. variables. One is what we call tool only. Yep, so that's just the vacuum. Right. Or you can buy it in a kit version, which right. is going to give you two batteries the charger and the vacuum. And this is the fast charger. That's a rapid charger. So that's a so 45 minutes dead to full. Dead right red hot out of the vacuum. Right. To full. Wow. Um, they are impressive, I have to say. And your worst possible nightmare would be running out of charge, which no, because you could just get an extra set of batteries and have One's on the charger the whole time, use, just interchange, just and interchange. you can go indefinitely, as you say. Uh, exactly. And like if we, if we also break it down, let's say this is going to a homeowner who right. wants a, a high quality cordless vacuum. Right. Right? Because that's really what it is. Yeah. 100 minutes of runtime. That is. You're going to clean your whole house top to bottom yep. within the 100 minutes. Now, what we also have to consider is that's continuous use. How many times do you shut the vacuum Correct. off during Correct. the course of cleaning? Yes. So 100 minutes continuous use is, is a lot. Right. OK. Uh, but it's a question is after sale service, do I get any warranties to go with it? Absolutely. We have one of the industry's best warranties. And Makita, we really pride ourselves on standing behind our product. Right. Um, people pay a premium to have a Makita tool. Well, because it's a premium product. Correct. And the warranty goes along with it. How long a warranty do you I get? A three year this? warranty on the vacuum, a three year warranty on the batteries, a three year warranty on the charger. Does that include components, components and parts, labor? It's a full up warranty. It includes your parts and your labor. Parts and labor included for three years. We will add on top of this a free shipping to all provinces in Canada. But we also will give you a 30 day full satisfaction guarantee and a three year warranty by the manufacturer, full three year warranty by the manufacturer. And you have absolutely no reason to doubt for a second this vacuum is going to make you a very, very happy customer. Thank you, Omar. Thanks, Rod. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. Absolutely.